Sarah Yarborough was a 16-year-old honor student on her way to team practice when she was found dead on her high school's campus. Investigators had DNA evidence and eyewitnesses, but it would take nearly three decades to identify Sarah's. As 48 Hours contributing writer Natalie Morales reports, the case had a huge impact on her family, friends and generations of investigators. A horrible discovery Natalie Morales Deck. How often do you think about the 14th? 1991 and what happened that day? Drew Miller a little bit too much. It's been more than 30 years. But the details of that day have never faded for Drew Miller. Drew Miller I had my friend spend the night at my house. Woke up that morning. Watched cartoons. Ate cereal. Left to go skateboarding. Miller who was just 13 years old at the time, lived down the street from Federal Way High School near Seattle, Washington. Natalie Morales' school grounds have changed a little bit, haven't they? Drew Miller strongly. Yes. The tennis court is the only thing still here. Miller often took shortcuts at school to skateboard, as he and his friend did that day. Drew Miller we would jump the fence, right here, and cut from here. It was freezing cold that day. There was ice in all the mud puddles. We just, you know, started smashing them because it's fun. It feels like breaking glass. That's when Miller says they noticed a man in the bushes. Drew Miller right here where you see the edge of this dugout. It was probably all the bushes that were this tall. That's why we couldn't see him until he stood up. Drew Miller he's just staring at us from the bushes. This was quite shocking. But then he emerged from the bushes. At the time we assumed he was just smoking weed or something. The mysterious man kept to himself and walked ahead of the children. Miller says they didn't think much of it until they stumbled upon a horrific scene. In bushes where the man had just been found was body of a young woman. Drew Miller it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. The way it leaves your body. He openly fought for his life. Miller says her shock turned to fear when she realized the man, who was still just feet in front of them, was now looking directly at her. Natalie Morales does this still bother you? Drew Miller yes. It froze in my mind. Natalie Morales the boogeyman. Drew Miller legitimate boogeyman. The boys raced to Miller's house and police were called to the scene. Scott Strathy as we approached victim. We saw the name Sarah on one of items of clothing. She was partially dressed, and a pile of her clothes was lying on the grass nearby. There was literally a monster in community and we didn't know who it was, said Scott Strathy, one of the first officers on scene. King County Superior Court Detective Scott Strathy of King County Sheriff's Office was one of the First officers on scene, Scott Strathy and of course, we later found out it was Sarah Yarborough, Scott Strathy even for experienced investig.